Everyone loves a party because parties mean we have something to celebrate. Birthdays, Christmas, a winning season, each party bringing with it so much joy. Now, what if I told you that we could start a party that doesn't ever have to end? A party that can last forever. A party that has all the celebrating and joy we could ever want. Well, this month, we're gonna start a party that celebrates the good news about God. And when God is at the center of our celebration, I can have joy all the time. We'll start the party week one with the story of the lost sheep. Jesus told the story to help us understand just how much God loves us. God's love for us is big. No, I mean really big. And we want our preschoolers to know that God will always love them. And when they remember how much God loves us, I can have joy all the time. I can start the party and celebrate all day, every day. Week two, we'll keep the party going with the story of the Feast of the Booths. I love how God's people would come together and celebrate and thank God for all of their crops after they'd been harvested. Working a garden and growing food was a part of their job. And when they saw the literal fruit of their labor, they wanted to start the party and celebrate. And we want our preschoolers to know that they can have joy when they have a job to do too, because I can have joy all the time. I can start the party and celebrate in everything I do. Week three, the book of Ezra shows us that we have something else to celebrate that preschoolers totally get. We can celebrate when we do hard things. Now, the people in the story weren't learning to tie shoes or count to 10, but they did have a very hard thing to do. They had to rebuild the temple. And while some people didn't feel like celebrating because the rebuilt temple wasn't as grand as the former one, some chose to celebrate and thank God for helping them do hard things. We want our preschoolers to know that they can have joy when they do hard things too, because I can have joy all the time. I can start the party and celebrate, especially when I do hard things. Week four, the party gets even bigger as we take a look at the world and all the things God made. We want our preschoolers to know that there are joy makers everywhere they look because there are things God made everywhere they look. That means when we look at this amazing world and all the wonderful things in it, I can have joy all the time. I can start the party and celebrate, a celebration as big as the world. Now we'll end the month, but not the party, week five with a man named Habakkuk. Habakkuk reminds us that even when things don't go our way, we can still have joy and celebrate who God is. And I'm not talking about not getting what you want for your birthday, no. Habakkuk still had joy and celebrated God even when his crops didn't grow and his farm didn't have any animals. Those are very hard things, but Habakkuk knew he could have joy no matter what. And we want our preschoolers to know they can too, because I can have joy all the time. I can start the party and celebrate because of who God is. I can have joy all the time. It doesn't sound possible at first, but when we think about God, who he is, what he has done, how much he loves us, well, that is worth celebrating. He is worth celebrating all day, every day. So let's start the party that will last forever. It's time to celebrate the good news about God.